The origins of the Hungarian people, who call themselves Magyarok, are shrouded in mystery. It has long been believed that the Hungarian people's ancestors lived in an idyllic land known as Ekeltos, between two rivers, far to the east. Legends known as Mondak describe how the ancestors wandered around the plains of Central Asia. They were a warring people who did not shy away from conflict. Vas Albert, an influential writer, described them in the following way. Long ago, far in the east, past where the sun rises, there was a beautiful kingdom of rolling grass and flowering meadows. Its citizens were brave warriors, hunters, and artisans, known for their knowledge and skill. They were famous for their ability to talk to the spirits and for their wisdom and good humor. They lived in peace unless they were attacked, at which point they defended themselves valiantly. While these myths live strongly in the Hungarian national identity, they may not be based in truth, at least not entirely. Researchers recently calculated that only 2 to 4 percent of the DNA of modern-day Hungarians can be traced back to Central Asia. The other 96 to 98 percent is composed of various European populations, which makes sense considering that at different times the fertile land of the Carpathian Basin was colonized by several long-standing civilizations, including the Celts and Romans. Regardless of genetics, some aspects of Hungarian culture are clearly linked to the people of the steppes. The languages most closely related to the famously complicated Hungarian are Kanti and Manchi, the speakers of whom live in present-day Russia. The oldest Hungarian legends also share similarities with those found in Asia, as do many of their notions about the afterlife, the spirit world, and shamanic practices. So this is where we start our story, in the lands the ancient nomads once inhabited. Following the Magic Stag A king who lived far to the east in the land beyond where the sun rises had two adventurous sons, Hunor and Magor. One day the brothers organized a hunting party. Each chose a hundred companions and started west on horseback. Before long, the hunting party spotted a beautiful stag whose coat glistened like the silvery moon. Its antlers were golden and shone like the sun and stars. This was the Chodasarvash, the magical stag. The animal stood still until the hunting party had almost reached it, then bounded away. Hunor, Magor, and their companions pursued the Chodasarvash through plains and valleys, rivers and marshes. The animal ran for seven days, never tiring, and the men chased it. 